A zebra herd is ruled by a single stallion that possessively guards his harem of females and foals. He will protect his herd and his genes at all costs, however brutal. Jenny Pappas was on safari in Etosha when she came across a zebra stallion showing unusually ferocious behavior. As we were making our way up, we stopped at one of the water holes where there were a herd of zebra. I was looking through my binoculars. The next thing, the stallion took this little foal. And I was so engrossed in it, I just kept on looking through my binoculars. And my partner, Graham, shouted at me, get the camera, get the camera. The stallion attacked this foal. It was horrific. He was throwing him around. Uh, he had him by his leg. Oh, he was horrible. He was jumping on him, and he threw him in the water. I couldn't believe what he was actually doing. It was really terrible. The mother, in all her efforts, tried to save the, the baby, and she was kicking him and biting him, and he just wouldn't let go. He just would not let go. And he obviously wanted to get rid of that foal. When the mare joined the herd, she must have already been pregnant with another stallion's foal. I didn't realize that zebras were so vicious. I found out since that the stallion's instinct is for his gene to be the one to continue down the line. He's not going to accept another male's gene in his herd. Eventually, he did leave the foal. The herd left the waterhole, and the mother stayed behind. And they were communicating with each other. You could hear them in the distance um, neighing, and she would answer them back as to say, I'm not going, I'm staying here, and I need to look after my baby. The next morning early, the foal was still there. It obviously had died in the night. We couldn't understand it because there were hyena all over. When they drove further into the park, they discovered the grim reason why the foal's body had been left alone. We saw that the hyenas had actually attacked the mom. Although you're watching it, you're feeling sad, you know it's nature, and nature looks after its own. It is a cruel act, what we as humans think is cruel, but an animal doesn't know cruelty. Nature is phenomenal. You know, the natural instinct that a mother has to save her young, even to her death. 